Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from eCommerce DAO and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use the Track123 order tracking upsell. This app is amazing on how effective it can be for your e-commerce store and not only that, what I really like about this app is that it's going to also save you time because you don't have to take care of so much about you know the customer service because the people can see them by themselves about like okay it's in transit right now it's in delivery all of that they're gonna find right here so all right before we're gonna start with the video i wrote a free ebook down below in the description how we can improve your e-commerce store so if you're interested you can check it out down below and now let's click here add an app when i'm going to be here i'm going to install application this is a free trial account on which I want to show it to you how we can use it. So uh, right here, success, your tracking page generates successfully. This is the URL. Okay. And then what we can find here and how you can use it. So right here, you can have exception, failed attempt and pending. You can have a dashboard of uh, how many days you want to see. Then you're going to have the total shipment by status. If they are pending, info received, in transit, out, deliver, delivery, exception, fail, attempt, all of that you're going to find right here. On the right side, you can start a live chat. And then you're going to have the orders and lookups here. Now, what you can do is to, of course, like upgrade it on the right side because on the starter, you're going to have 200, 200 quota. And then you can have like growth, advanced, or enterprise that's like up to you there's like the billing here but what i like is that you have the free account option so under track one to three you can have the page editor this is something that i definitely recommend to check out and optimize and definitely view your tracking page how it looks like like let's say we want to choose modern or the default one so when i'm going to press the modern i can view and this is how it looks like, right? So right now we have this order, we have these two items and we see that it's delivered, right? So this is how the first one looks like. Or if I want to, I can have the default. And this is how it looks like. So again, delivered, package info, all the information a person would have right here now of course they can track the order they are going to write an order number but what is really great is that if they want to track it uh, and they are going to continue contact you in your chat i would definitely re recommend having like a quick answer or something or for them to mm, for them to, to search it and to see it here so for that it's highly effective then you can have the date format here translation that you can have product recommendations so you can have it displayed on tracking page or you can have like product source recommendation upsell display location where you want to like upsell it this is something definitely recommend to check out too estimate delivery time so this is available for growth plan and then a blacklist rounding then you can have the product reviews and if you have like product reviews uh, from Judge.me, Stamp.io, Lux, product reviews, fair hour, early reviews, you would find right here. And then you can have the custom status. So add maximum free custom status for to inform customers about the progress of their order. So we see right here. Like ordered, order ready, in transit, out delivered. And then you can have display options. So lookup options. Require email form number, tracking number, by order number. Then map coordinates, current package location, destination address, do not show map. So you can have even that, so not even showing the map. And you can settings here, like the carrier dis details display, package content details or tracking details. This is something that is, I don't know what kind of e-commerce store you have, but it's up to you to optimize it. And then you can have to display the Google Translate widget if you want to. And then you can have the SEO and all of that. So that's about the style. I definitely recommend like investing some time here 
uh, about how we can use it. And then you can have the order. So here you would find all the orders. Then analytics. And this is for the growth feature. Integrations. So uh, like if you can integrate it with PayPal Stripe, you can do it and even check out the automations here. And then when I go even further, we can have the settings. With the settings, you're going to have the tracking link, tracking page URL. And then you see a notifications, email. And you see that you can have some automations and this is all for growth plan, of course. So that's pretty much it about how we can use it and what you can do with it with track one to three or the tracking upsell. I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you on what you can do and how you can use it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you can have a great day and goodbye.